The Carb Addiction Doc, Dr. Rob Sivas. Do the experiment for yourself. Try an elimination diet for 90 days. Now, folks, I'm kind of fortunate. I don't have those as a clinical problem. If I eat bread, if I eat uh, grain products, if I eat vegetables, if I eat fruit, I don't have gastric inflammation. Does that upset me? Does it give me some gas bloat? Absolutely. But it's very tolerable. Other people are intolerable to that. So it affects different people variably. But you know what's interesting? Is if I've been on a carnivore diet for a long time, and I even just eat a salad or eat some vegetables, let alone some grain products, for three or four days afterwards, it really disrupts my system. Do the experiment. See, you're not going to know how bad the GI inflammatory space is until you get rid of it for a while. Test yourself. Do the experiment. Go pure carnivore for maybe 90 days. Oh my God, it's three months. Three months in, in the course of 100 years is very, very little. Try it sometime. Go pure carnival for 90 days. Write down some of the GI symptoms that you may have and have an awareness. You don't have to be a doctor. There's no blood tests or measurables that you need to do. Just do the experiment of time. And you'll be amazed at how much better your reflux gets, how much better you sleep, how much less your heart palpit, uh, palpitates. Look at how your bowel movements change. Look at the diarrhea, the constipation, the cramping, the gas bloat. Do the experiment. See how much it improves you. That is the inflammation of sugar and sugar-containing products as they travel through the intestine in a place where they no longer belong. I'm not a total advocate for the carnivore diet. I'm just saying that that is a good elimination diet to do the experiment. And then you can pitch yourself. I choose not to eat the grain products. I choose not to eat the starches, but I eat vegetables from time to time. I'm mostly carnivore, not because it's better or healthier for me, because it doesn't matter. It's just easier and simpler, and I like to eat that way. But some people do need to make that change. The only way to know is to eliminate the source of inflammation to your GI tract over the course of maybe 90 days, three months. That gives your body enough time to change on the inside and then see what happens. And by the way, just one last word of, of wisdom. All of you taking probiotics, all of you taking those probiotics or prebiotics to replenish the gut flora of your intestine, those are vegetable probiotics. Those are fermentation-based probiotics. So if you're leaning more toward a healthier carnivore diet, if you're staying away from all those vegetable products, and you're trying to populate your gut with uh, the microbiome of a more carnivorous way of life, why the hell are you taking a probiotic that keeps replenishing the sugary side, at least the, uh, the sugar and the, and the um, vegetable side? It doesn't make logical sense. Do the experiment, and then you can pitch yourself where you want to be. Vegetables and animal products are perfectly fine on a ketogenic diet. You decide what makes your intestinal space the healthiest. Dr. Rob Sivas says, I am fortunate. I don't have these as a clinical problem. If I eat bread, grains, vegetables, fruit, I don't get gastric inflammation. It does give me some upset, some gas bloat. It is tolerable, but for others, it is not. It affects different people variably. If I have been on a carnivore diet for a long time, and I eat a salad or some vegetables, for three or four days it disrupts my system. You should do the experiment for yourself. You won't know how bad your GI inflammatory space is until you get rid of these sugars for a while. Go carnivore for 90 days. Check your own GI issues. No need for blood tests. You will be amazed how much better your reflux gets, how much better you sleep, how much less your heart palpitates how much your bowel movements improve. That is the inflammation of sugar and sugar-containing products as they travel through the intestine.
in a place where they no longer belong. I am not an advocate for the carnivore diet, but it is a good elimination diet to do the experiment. I chose not to eat grains, the starches. I do eat vegetables from time to time. For me, it is simpler and I like it. But some people do need to make that change. The only way to know is eliminate the sources of that inflammation from your GI tract for 90 days so your body can change inside. Then you will know. If you are taking probiotics or prebiotics, they are vegetable based. They are fermentation based. So if you are eating carnivore, trying to populate your microbiome with animal based products, why would you drink vegetable based products? Do the experiment yourself so you can decide. Either vegetable or animal products are fine on the keto diet. You decide which makes your GI inflammation better. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.